Hello, it is Field and Tina coming to you today from Maria, Montreal. I'm doing Jasmine's Tag October 9th. One, last horror film you saw. Last horror film. I saw a little bit of the bad seed the other night, a few days ago. I watched a bit of it, but I didn't like it, so I changed it. Two, how old were you when you saw your first horror movie? When I saw my first horror movie, horror, I think I was 13. I must have been 13. I was in high school, grade 8, and it was 1969. 1970, and I was in grade eight, and they said they had a big auditorium to show films and show shows on stage and stuff like that, you know, and they had, they said, okay, all grade eight, all students go to the auditorium at such and such an hour, and there's going to be a film on a film. So I went there, and it was Dracula, the 1969 version of Dracula. And it was, and there I was, sitting alone, up on this, Bench up in the chairs, the uh, theater seats, and there it played. Oh, and it came in, and the horses running through the woods, carrying the stage with the girl inside, and oh my gosh. And Dracula. Did I watch the whole thing? I think I watched the whole thing. Who's starting it now? Dracula with uh, Susan. What was the one that was living in California? And was killed by the Manson gang. What was her name? Susan. Susan Hunt. Susan. Susan. I can't remember her name. But anyways. You would know her name. You would know her if I said it. And she was beautiful. And that was my first horror movie. Now. And then shortly after that, she was murdered. Susan, Sharon Tate. That's it, Sharon Tate. And she was murdered. And I thought that was the most horrible thing I'd ever heard of. Three, if you were dared to drink real blood on Halloween night, would you? No. Now... When I first came on YouTube in 2009, uh, someone subscribed to me. A very nice, talented young girl uh, artist from, uh, where is she from? Greece. Greece or something like that. And she did artist work and she did one painting she posted was done in real blood. 
I don't know how they got the blood. Maybe someone donates their blood and they get it. But you get a, a special pen and you make a drawing from the blood. This is from Europe. And uh, she, uh, she never said how she got the blood or what, but. That's what they did. Because, like, some artists take their work seriously. And uh, this practice of making a painting of blood must go back a long time. You know, coming from Greece and I don't know what country, Italy, Greece, and she made a painting of real blood, not much, so she must, people must donate their blood, like, like if a vial, you know, like if you give blood for a test, they must do something like that, and she made a painting, I thought that was weird. Strange it was very pretty, but weird. For which urban legend would you go as at a Halloween party? Which urban legend? Urban legend. Well, the urban legends are the werewolf, uh, the mummy. Uh, Dracula, a witch, is a witch an urban legend? I don't know. Uh, I would go as a witch. I would do my hair, oh, do my hair black. I would get a black wig, a black wig. And I would put a big witch's hat <laughs> and a big black costume. Hi, are you more superstitious running up to Halloween night? Well, not really. A little bit. Let's say I'm glad if it's over and nothing's happened. <laughs> not when I was young, I wasn't superstitious at all. Not at all. We'd go out and get our candy, and it was fun. It wasn't something to be scared of. And, um... No, I feel pretty safe. I'm not superstitious. I'm not very superstitious by right. Okay, thank you. Bye.